Hey, I thought I'd continue the week of overviews with Wishmere. I have covered this game in the past, but I kind of uh, wasn't really doing a whole lot with some of the other patches, but now the game is in full release. So I'm going to go over a couple of the mechanics, but the game has a pretty uh, in-depth tutorial. So if you want to play the game, you can just head there and save some time here. But I'll show the basics of how the combo system works. Got a Shingo color and a Kyo color. <laughs> I thought that was pretty awesome that I could play as kind of a bootleg Shingo and Kyo. You have a light attack, a hard attack, special. Let me uh, change the settings here. And you have a super. So you have chain normals. What a chain normal allows you to do is to chain from, kind of like KOF, you have like command normals in that game, like from a standing C to a forward A. It's, it's pretty similar there, like you have your fierce here, and you can chain it to his up and light. And from there, you can chain into a special or super. So combining all three will be like this. They also have throws, which uh, I think they added a way to... They were supposed to add a way to uh, change the input for the throw from light attack and hard attack to block and light. Uh, I suggested that to them a couple weeks ago, but I guess they haven't gotten around that yet. So, kind of difficult to pull off on a controller. Let's see if I can get the air throw off. So there's also a skill tree. Now in the training mode they give you unlimited points so that you can actually test things. But in the uh, story in the base of darkness mode you get skill points depending on your performance and whichever base of darkness it is and you can use that to customize your character. Like this makes his running attack have more hits done, which is actually really good. This makes his edge uh, have hits done as well. Okay, well that's enough just for training. So every character has a unique ability called an edge. Uh, what that allows you to do is, uh, with this character, is it makes it into a, a dash cancel. So you can do stuff like this. I haven't played in a while, so I'm a little rusty. There's a basic combo. 100%. 100% <laughs> on this character. I think the other characters have uh, they have varying health bars. But you can cancel into Fate Advance from anything. You go like that. Alright, so that's the gist of it. Uh, the other details are covered in the tutorial. 
So I'll do some quick gameplay here. I'm honestly kind of waiting until they add that uh, block and light throw option so that I can actually utilize the throws <laughs> right now. It's kind of hard to push square and triangle at the same time. So you've seen me play this before, so I'm just going to do a quick one here. Keep the uh, video length short. I'm not really good with the other characters, I need to practice with them more. But Du Shen is pretty much the uh, perfect character for me, so I tend to focus on him. They've got a Halloween update going on right now, so it's got some nice little festive decor in the back. So one thing they've added, uh, a lot, they got a lot of flack for the combo system. The combo system is not very, uh, it's not what you're used to. Uh, you can't just like mash a button, you have to kind of put together chain normals and regular normals and specials. It's kind of like a fighting game. That's kind of where the beat em up fighting game hybrid uh, gameplay of this comes from, not just from the perspective, the single plane that the game is played on. Uh, so what they did is they added, uh, this works in base of darkness mode allows you to just push the square button and get a basic combo so you can kind of get the hang of the combo system. So what I usually do is I go for this, it gives him hit stun, more hit stun on his dash attack, which is a good approach with him because of how fast he is. I put one point in this, and then you always want your rising pressure to uh, come back faster. So this is a pretty easy wave, but it does get uh, pretty hectic on some of the harder ones. They also have a Bloody Palace type one where you can just keep uh, keep fighting basically forever, which is pretty fun. So you get varying amounts of skill points depending on which uh, base of darkness you're doing. 
On this one you don't get much because it's pretty easy, but some of the harder ones give you more to work with. So there's also a full story mode. I can go ahead and I'll show a little vertical slice of that. They did not have this until the recent beta build, which I was not really able to record anything from due to an NDA. But I played through like the first half of it. It's pretty cool, but there was a there was a progression plug where the skill points weren't unlocking, so I kind of stopped. But now that that's been fixed, I'll definitely uh, look into this. I haven't really played as this character since like the first early access release, so <laughs> let's fight through this group of enemies. That's basically the gist of it, you just kind of walk forward and have some cool cutscenes and stuff. You also get a taste of the skill tree in here, but it seems like it's mostly used for uh, the base of darkness mode. So I'll probably go through this at a later date. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick overview for this because the developers wanted to use me uh, to help with the marketing. So I'll have more footage of this later. Uh, I will have uh, probably two more overviews throughout this week and then things will be back to normal. Uh, these are all games that I neglected for various reasons and I wanted to kind of uh, pay that back to you guys. So we'll see what happens. Catch you guys later. Peace.